Hello everybody, Jean back with you. We are in Elysium Planitia here again near the Insight Lander and we're going to be looking at what I speculate might be weird structures or ruins. We'll be analyzing this photograph called Fractured Mounds at the southern edge of Elysium Planitia and I'll include the link to this page below. Acquired on the 10th of February 2007 at a resolution of 25 centimeters per pixel, I'll be showing you images cropped from the JP2 black and white map projected file, and uh, as well as the RGB, we'll check that out now. Uh, a crop from the low res black and white JPEG reveals uh, what I speculate to be terrain that was uh, surrounded in water with these mounds possibly being uh, islands sticking up above the surface of the water and uh, also see lots of cracking perhaps these were canals and uh, a lot of these structures we're looking at were found on top of these so-called mounds many blocks and strange artifacts that have moved around possibly by the water and the devastation that hit the planet some time ago. The RGB color non-map projected has a crop from the lower is JPEG there. Also close-up reveals what looked like canals but the typical sort of edges that we see uh, on earth where there's been some water flow as well and then NASA's using uh, this blue color we'll also take a look at some what I speculate might be brine or water seeping up to the surface and running down edges I wonder if uh, this is intentional that they used blue possibly indicating the presence of liquid and uh, we'll be analyzing this terrain located 3.25 degrees south, 167.90 degrees east, very close to the equator. So possibly um, presence of water there in the past. Check out the strange mounds. Very weird terrain. Also not far from the Insight Lander and Curiosity. NASA is really interested in this area for sure. Yeah, we're looking at uh, these two anomalies which are huge. Um, this one's about 25 meters across by about 30 meters long. This one's even bigger. And uh, both of these are surrounded by what looked like slabs or blocks. Maybe even on top of this one, it looks like a square block or slab there. So let's check out the first one close up. And uh, right in the center, we've got the characteristic dark spot. I'm not sure if that uh, could possibly be a type of a hole perhaps, but it's uh, definitely got some geometry and symmetry to it that straight edge there and the arc running through that side and also pretty much in the center the edges of this piece are rounded so it's got a very uh, convex shape to it and uh, there's a good example of one of the square blocks next to it another one over here to the right very strange, maybe that's an entrance way over there. It's almost like a, an igloo type shape, very strange. But uh, that block doesn't look like a normal boulder or rock. It's got straight edges, flat sides and a right angle there. This one's also got flat sides and straight edges. And then this one over here, rather strange as well looks almost as if this piece may have broken off from this side 
not quite sure. But here's uh, another square slab or block, another more eroded one next to it. Check out the well-defined edges and flat surfaces on these. And uh, why would these be lying on top of this larger part that's also got this convex rounded shape? Look at the, uh, the similar thickness of this block all the way through. This one's also got a similar depth to it. So could these uh, blocks and slabs have covered these and uh, drifted off with uh, whatever catastrophe hit this planet, maybe a flood in this area or some explosions or an ancient war. It looks really uh, devastated. And uh, check out the edge of this uh, mound or island definitely appears uh, water ran through this area and carved out these edges maybe these were primitive canals as another one of these huge megalithic slabs this one's about well I'd say 22 meters long and uh, it's at an angle, but I judge the depth to be probably 10 meters or so. So it's uh, just as big as the big blocks that we find in uh, Baalbek, Lebanon. So a close up, check out the constant thickness of the slab running through the side there straight edges as well so maybe a lot of these blocks are covered in sand and possibly uh, here and there we've got these blocks sticking up out of the Martian surface check out the flow over there NASA says these are caused by uh, particles flowing on the surface like these minerals or something leaving these darker streaks but that looks like water to me running down the side and uh, that's about 50 meters long about 10 meters wide so nice um, close-up of the area reveals it's coming from a little area there underneath these stones most like a little fountain maybe or a spring running down and then uh, spreading out as uh, water would do or liquid would do and then uh, from the color portions I found a few of the anomalies there's the the one that we had a look at in the beginning rather strange blocks surrounding this rounded larger piece and there more of this blue color that NASA popped in on this photograph is that an indicator of water there who knows and uh, this strange piece um, it's about a meter wide or half a meter wide and about uh, 10 meters long but what uh, makes this piece interesting is the shadow it's casting have a look at that close up looks like uh, some type of rounded piece I'm not sure if this could be megalithic but check out the arc running through there very geometric you look at uh, the shape on either side of the center line and the shadow it's casting um, to me says this is uh, flat on the top 
but it's got this rounded curve to it. Rather strange piece as well. Looks very artificial. And then uh, more broken slabs and pieces of here. We're looking at uh, these two, which are about 10 by 10 meters, like uh, almost all the anomalies uh, that we've had a look at in the past. There's another block sticking out there to the left. There's that strange curved artifact. So let's check out these. And uh, also again, the same as all the others we've just looked at, the same sort of thickness to these slabs. I'd say that's about a meter to uh, a half a meter perhaps. Straight edges and uh, very flat smooth surfaces. Intriguing pieces indeed. So let's uh, hop over to Mars, check out these anomalies and others in the area. Back to Elysium, Planitia. To these uh, so-called mounds where we checked out some of these anomalies. I do this uh, just for reference keep all of you up to date as to what we're finding at these spots and surrounding areas. We've got these prime examples of uh, megalithic blocks. 90 degree angles all over. Flat sides. Interesting. Here we've got a uh, partial pyramid, a little dome-shaped UFO object. Not that that is, but uh, maybe, who knows. It's more liquid flying up, seeping up through the surface and flying down these hills. More blocks that have moved apart. And uh, let's just take a look at uh, one more. And this is where Spirit Rover found uh, this stone disc. Very similar to those that they found in Russia as well. Now let's have a look. The InSight lander is over here. And it photographed some smaller blocks. We don't see any more photographs of the surface, I wonder why. Only of the seismometer that they've placed down there. He has a curiosity down here in Gale Crater. So um, we checked out these blocks here. So NASA is definitely very interested in uh, Elysium Planitia for sure. That concludes this video. I don't want to keep you any longer. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye for now.